Uh, what is Grage? I, I don't know either. Let's go to Lowe's and see what we can find. Okay, let's go. I had a client who comes in all the time for their express session headshots and they asked, I asked them what color backdrop they wanted and they said, grayish. I was like, what? I really thought I could just walk right into Lowe's and there would be a sample that said grayish. But no, we spent at least a half an hour trying to find the right ones. Here's what we chose. I tried using this canvas cloth right off the shelf and it didn't work. There was a seam. So I ended up having to buy one on Amazon and take this one back. Be sure to get seamless. Of course, you need a piece of PVC pipe to hold the whole thing up as well. And once I received the new canvas backdrop, I did have to iron it, but all you need is the steam setting and actually went pretty quickly. This is a nine by 12, 10 ounce seamless canvas backdrop. I'll put a link to it in the description. I started off using my back patio and I swept it all off, but you'll notice the concrete of the patio has quite a few seams. It's extra windy in the backyard and of course the dog's hanging out there. And it's exactly nine feet wide, which is going right up to the grass. So this location didn't end up working. I am painting this the same, exactly the same as Nicole Carson Bonilla on YouTube. So I'm just completely following her, her recipe. She's made a bunch of these backdrops and of all the ones that I've seen, this is probably the most cost effective. You don't have to do a bunch of extra stuff to the canvas. What we're going to do is a light color down first, maybe one or two coats, and then we'll take the sea sponge and do the, uh, the darker color that will be watered down. So I just have the cheapest paint from Lowe's and I got the kind with the built-in primer. So don't need to primer it. I'm not doing any additives in this. I'm not doing anything like that. I will list all the supplies in the description, but you can see it's pretty minimal. You need a piece of canvas, a drop cloth to go under it, under it to protect the surface, a small bucket or tub like this, a sea sponge to put on the roller, and I have two different colors of paint, a lighter for the base and the one shade darker for the top coat, and of course the paint pan and the roller and regular rollers, and I got an extension arm for the roller. This is super important. Some of these you can just screw in a broom or mop handle, but I just went ahead and got an extension arm. Then we move the whole operation into the driveway. So I prepped it just like I had the back, swept it all off and laid down the plastic with the canvas on top. Okay. One thing she stresses in her video a lot is to be careful of seams like this because they will leave a mark. So you can see how the brush would indent here, the roller. Uh, so driveway it is <laughs> so it's less windy up here and i have more rocks to weigh things down so uh, and the dog can have the backyard now i'm going to get to work painting and when we get to these lines we're going to shift things over there's a line here and a line down there because this is uh, 9 by 12 so all right let's now let's get painted Painting the first coat took a lot longer than I expected. That canvas really soaked up the paint. So you can see I'm reloading the roller a whole bunch of times. I only get one or two rolls in and I have to go back and get more paint. Since I didn't have, this had built-in primer, I didn't have to do this process twice, but if you already have primer laying around, you might consider priming it and then putting this on. I just didn't want too much paint on here. Honestly, I was a little afraid that it could crack if I put way too many thick layers on. And if you've ever used primer, you know how thick dedicated primer is. So I just kept at it very dig diligently and uh, just kept going back and forth and back and forth as you can see. The first layer of paint is drying and I'm uh, a little nervous that I don't have enough paint to cover the whole thing for a second coat. That canvas soaked it up. <sighs> So here's what I'm going to try. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the paint. Um, I don't care if it's a little diluted. So that's what we're gonna try for a second coat. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more and then we'll do the second coat. It takes a little bit of time to move it around. And I have a 30 year old Colorado driveway. <laughs> so you can imagine with the snow damage, uh, there's a lot of pock marks where the aggregate has popped out over time and then <laughs> just, it's a little tore up of a driveway. So I've got all these little divots to paint in. <laughs> Uh, so I think it's going okay. Uh, the, it's hard to tell because all of the shadows of the trees above it, um, but I think it's looking okay. <laughs> oh, let's have some coffee. Okay, that is more than empty, <laughs> completely empty. It looks really spotty, but I think for a second coat, it's probably okay. I got the sea sponge wet and then wrung it out. I'll have to do some more. Uh, I got some water. What we're going to do is take the darker paint. I went darker, lighter as the base and darker as the top. You could do it opposite if you want to. Um, this is going to be half and half, half water and half paint. So I'm just going to put water in the, <laughs> um, the old paint bucket so I can measure it with the lines here and so I know how much I'm using and then it's like a really light touch to roll this on in a irregular pattern. I finally got to the fun part which was rolling on the top coat with that sponge roller. How cool! So here I'm just kind of learning as I go. You can see me shift around the cloth so I don't get the line from the driveway. Ooh, this was the fun part. Lots of experimenting. I feel like even a third color would have been good. So, hmm. So I think I'm gonna let this dry pretty well. Get a better look at it completely dry. And then um, maybe lighten it, add a little bit more water. And this is where I went off the rails from the tutorial I saw on YouTube. She was very diligent about put the base coat and do one roller. I wanted to mix around some other values of that color. Okay, that's enough for tonight. I did a few different shades. And I think what I'll do is I'll let this dry and then I'll take it to the studio tomorrow with the sponge and the darker paint and just do any touch up when I have even lighting at the studio. I think it's looking good though. And here we are at the studio. I had to order some of these larger sponges from Amazon. So it was about a week later. Again, make sure that you pre-soak those sponges and wring them out really well for the right look. And I just have that same diluted paint and I'm going to try to touch up some of those other spots on here and maybe put just a little bit lighter accents. Ta-da, I am done. Well, I'm done enough, okay? <laughs> I tried to do some touch up the last hour to just put some difference in that blob I see there, but I'm just gonna have to deal with that later. So this is what we got. That side is the new grayish, and this side, <laughs> I hung up my just brown backdrop. So there you go. Um, in this light, it kind of looks like the brown has some red in it and the grayish has some green in it. It could just be the natural light coming in the front windows, but that's something you can kind of change in Photoshop or your custom white balances in your camera. But there definitely is a difference. Um, obviously a lot cooler on the grayish side. Uh, so I think it's a nice addition. <laughs> now, uh, here's the pluses. Here's the pluses to doing your own backdrop. First of all, creative outlet. I've thought about making a backdrop for a long time, uh, so that's good. Another plus it, with this canvas backdrop, no wrinkles. Yeah, love that, and it's very sturdy. Other pluses, I can make it exactly the colors that I want. 
and it's completely custom. Nobody else has this backdrop. Uh, downsides. The downsides is canvas is really heavy. You can see I've got a lot of clamps across the top and actually my 15 year old, 15, 20 year old backdrop stand keeps buckling under the weight, just kind of slips down so I have to really tighten it. So that's a minus. Also I get real picky about the little individual spots. So there's that and it was a lot more effort to paint this than I originally considered because having to move it all over to not get the seam of the driveway and the pock marks and dirt and bugs and ah, if I had, if I could paint in this room, I was just worried about the fumes, then I, I would. Maybe as the weather gets nicer, I can just prop open that door and come in on the weekend and paint the second one in here. I'm strongly considering that. Another downside is maybe I'll never be quite satisfied <laughs> with the final product. I haven't done any photo sessions on this yet, so we'll see. You blur the backdrop, no one's gonna notice, right? <laughs> now, cost-wise, here's, here's what's interesting. I think that this brown, this is a 10 by 20, just kind of cloth backdrop, and uh, they get really wrinkly, really wrinkly. Um, that I got probably, again, 15 or 20 years ago for about $100. You can still get a cheap 10 by 20 for 100 bucks. Uh, the canvas did cost more. However, I don't think it costs as much as a custom con canvas. I'm pretty sure it didn't. So here's, here's the breakdown. Now, what I got is enough for two of these. This is a nine by 12, so I got enough for two. I could flip it this way and have it 12 feet wide and the other one go on the floor and then you just edit out the seam, which is a brilliant idea because they're not gonna slip all over. This is such thick um, canvas. I got the 10, 10 weight <laughs> canvas. So here's the breakdown of costs. The paint for two, okay, so we got two gallons and two quarts, that uh, totaled $82. I ended up getting two drop cloths. I don't know why, that was $10. I did have to buy the 10 foot long PVC pipe and that was $20. And I cut down, cut off a, a foot of that. The sponge roller was $17. The little five quart bucket, if you've got already a little bucket that you can mix paint in, that's up to you, but that was five bucks. Uh, the small sea sponges, I got a little package of those for $15. Uh, the canvas cloths themselves were uh, $64 for two of them, so about $32 each. You have to get the seamless. I thought I had the seamless at one point and I didn't. So that was kind of a hassle. And then I got bigger heavyweight clamps and a four pack of those was $48. What I did not have to buy was the little roller or the paint tray. So I already had those. So in the end, for two backdrops, it was 261 US dollars plus tax. So that's $130 each. If you had to buy everything from scratch, just say $150. Now, for a 9 by 12 custom canvas backdrop, I don't think that's a bad price. I don't. Will I do this again? Maybe. I have my mind on this kind of a dark mottled blue. So possibly. I've thought of the idea of painting on the back side of this, but I just don't want to make it heavier and I don't want anything to bleed through. So if it was very similar tone to this, I could paint the back. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, so I, I think I'll do it again. Obviously I'm gonna paint the other one and then I might do another, like a blue. The original person I saw do a video, she had some beautiful pinks and just a bunch of other colors and she's made quite a few. <laughs> so um, I don't feel too bad that mine didn't come out exactly how I wanted. But the thing is when you paint it yourself, I could, mess around with it later. So when I paint the other one, I'll save some paint aside and do some of those touch-up pieces. I know you're gonna ask about cleaning, and I just don't know. <laughs> I got the flattest flat paint there is, and so right now I can sweep it off. I could dedicate one to the backdrop, and then have one for the floor, and I can just do a really light mopping or um, just repaint it. I know a lot of people with the white psych walls, they just end up repainting. Uh, i just hesitant to put another coating of something on there. Um, what's it called? 
a sealant. I hesitate to put a sealant on it because I don't want any shine at all. So I'll have to look into that. If you have an idea for what I can put on there that's completely matte, not satin, completely matte sealant, let me know. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. I also have the carpet that I'll most likely spend most of my time just using one with the carpet over it. So I think all in all, it was a fun idea. <laughs> uh, now I have it for that one client who really wanted a grayish backdrop. I think I have an idea what grayish is now. Do you think? I don't know. <laughs> so there you go, this super long process. It took me weeks because I had to wait for the weather. I had to wait to get things reordered on uh, Amazon. I had to run around to different stores and just everything took weeks and weeks because I tried to do this in the spring where it just the weather wasn't cooperating. So I think if you really put some time into it, you had all your supplies, you can do this in just a few days. <sighs> Would I recommend this to you? Totally up to you. If you have a big, large space that you can lay the canvas down in, that was the biggest hassle, was just having a place to lay it all down in that I didn't have to shift it and move it all the time. So there's that. So whether you wanna do it or not, it's up to you. I've given you all the information and links <laughs> All of these supplies, if, I, if you can get them on Amazon, I'll put them in the description so you can go check them out. Uh, there you go. And if you continue to watch this channel, I do film sessions here at the studio. So you will see this in upcoming videos when I do photo sessions in the studio. All right. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. This project's finally done. Okay, half of it's done, but it's done for you. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you're gonna ever make one and I'm gonna get going now. <sighs> As always, I wish you many whoops, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. Grage, beige, grage, beige. I don't know. Maybe I should have put a, a gray up and a beige and the grage. Never mind. We're not going to overthink this. Okay, I'm done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.